What's up, people? It's Pretty Boy Brands checking in right quick. Thank you for stopping by the man cave. Let's get into some hot takes. Vincent K. McMahon. God damn. Use a free gas boy, ain't you? Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon has been a um what is it has he been charged no he hasn't been charged he's been accused and had a, a lawsuit filed against him for sex trafficking uh sex assault and i don't know some some other sexual deviancy these are charges or these are claims made by an ex-employee uh janelle grant i believe yes janelle grant this seems to be the only picture that exists of this lady by the way the, all we know of, of Vince McMahon is what he he actually plays a character in wrestling. A very amusing and entertaining character. He seems like a very focused, he seems like a very focused, um, hardworking individual. I mean, he's pretty much, I wouldn't say single-handedly, but he's, he's, he's dominated the wrestling uh, uh, landscape. And pretty much monopolized it. So I'd imagine he's a very successful uh, businessman at this point. And successful businessmen tend to find themselves in sexual crime. <laughs> anyway, to support these claims, uh, this woman is ex quote, quote unquote exposed. That seems to be the trend, right? That's That's like the formula. Let me just expose your ass real quick. And let's get it moving. So she's exposed Mr. McMahon with these text messages between him and her. And I heard they're wild. Um, I just haven't had a chance to read them myself. So let's read them together. So here it is. Uh, it's saying following the threesome on May 11th. McMahon sent an explicit message to Miss Grant that further detailed his fantasies of seeing her engaged in sexual relations. <laughs> Freak ass boy. Um, I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, this is, by the way, this is so wild imagining that Vince McMahon, he's writing this, right? Okay. Uh, in the future, it's going to be so bad that you will demand to be fucked twice a day and not just with whatever, in a three-way. Why not let others see the beautiful, voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you come, God damn, descriptive. I want to see this voluptuous body too. All I'm seeing is a damn headshots all over the place. Um, they'll go out of their minds. Then I'll find more friends and will tie you up so you're helpless. I'll direct them to have their way any way they want. Exclamation mark. Who can make you scream? Nick McMahon. Come on, Vince. Screen. Who can make you scream the loudest? I should be screaming, I'm assuming. Maybe I'll just line them up and have... It should be them. Squirt in your mouth, your pussy, and all over your... T Yo, I, why is he spelling... His, his spelling is starting to irritate me. This whole grammatical shit. Why is there an E in pussy? This is so unnecessary. Why do people add more letters into shit? That's like... <laughs> You you put U R for year to shorten it, so I'm assuming yeah we don't want to write too much unnecessary shit, and then you pop an E, and oh, like, is he is he <laughs> what if he's saying it like passe? <laughs> Maybe that's how he talks. You're passe. Anyway, all over your tits and ass, all at the same time, you'll be covered. He doesn't even so you can put the E in pussy, but you can't put the E for B to so just all right. You will be covered in cum and will make you eat it all and taste it. Whoa, all right. The next morning, you'll be a, a little sore, but you're still going to want more. After all that fucking over and over. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to. This is engaging. I want to see what the next episode is. Ah, uh, maybe I don't have the right ones, but anyways, forget wherever that was going. I, I, I'll, I guess we'll look to be continued on that episode. Um, as another, I guess another point, whatever. After the threesomes began, all right. So she she had a threesome, and then that text happened. McMahon became more sadistic, and his fantasies focused on control, such as choking, sensory deprivation, pain, humiliation, and 
group scenarios in which Ms. Grant was to be physically overwhelmed and subservient. Okay, sounding a little bit wild. But I have to say, it's not sounding like some shit that we don't know what happens already behind the closed doors of some people, some clubs. But let's get on with the messages. Are we your last picture? Okay. Now I'm assuming she sent the picture, but he got a picture of her somehow, right? You need your... <laughs> and he's ripped off. And three big black kicks. It's because he put it in caps. <laughs> Why is it always black dicks, bro? These people, like, when they get into their kinky mode, so they always got to have black dicks involved. In all three holes at the same time. Three exclamation marks. Are you serious about that shit? Oh, this, these sentences are not, come on, bro. These are like fragments, fragmented sentences. Weigh up your pussy. There we go with that again. And weigh up your ass as far as they will go. But even far <laughs> and the thickest cock goes down your throat. So it makes you gag and convulse as those big black cocks pound away. Hey, I feel so weird reading this bitch. Like, imagine if if the walls were just mad thin and I had like um some diehard Christian neighbors. I'm like, what is he? What's going on over there? What is he? Anyway, uh, back to the black cocks pounding. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wait. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted. But this made you come nonstop. Just one continuous, constant orgasm. And just before you pass out, damn, those big black things squirt. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can express how wild this is that I'm imagining that Vince McMahon is saying this shit right now. Uh, what is it? Dick squirt. There are loads of cum inside you. As you lay on your stomach, the cum is coming out of all your holes. I'll turn you over and jack off all over you, Mr. McMahon. Freak ass boy. All right. There's more, right? Oh, my God. I need to put my glasses on for this shit. Hold on a minute. This is getting real. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. Uh, All right, so all of that's going on, right? All that's happening. Around this time, McMahon openly shared explicit photographs and salacious stories about Miss Grant with WWE crew at TV tapings. That's interesting water cooler conversation. Uh... A group McMahon also referred to as her fan club. Indeed, McMahon exuberantly messaged her a truthful story, quote unquote, of having just shared explicit content of her with a group of 12 men on the WWE tech crew and recounted the obscene details he shared with them. Um, okay. I just passed my, or, or this, this is him. I just passed my phone around to a bunch of guys on a tech crew. They were screaming, OMG. Oh my God. She's fucking beautiful. Look at that ass. You know, I want to see this ass too. I'm just saying for, for research purposes and to really get the context of what's going on. You know, we, all I'm seeing is that, that picture I showed you guys earlier. That's the only picture I've ever seen of this woman. Um, which she, And she's an attractive woman, by the way, facially. Um, blah, 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 blah. Look at that ass. I'd like to get that. I paused to count out loud how many guys there were, 12. <laughs> I then said, okay, there's 12 of you, and she would love to fuck each and every one of you at one time. The guys cheered. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, so the guys were cheering, yay, she's going to fuck us all. <laughs> and, but she will only do it if she takes three at the time. I mean, how much more does he want her to take? I think she's a champion. For taking three, you know, most girls, right? That brought a huge reaction. All right. She wants one deep in her head. You know what? You know what I have to say? <laughs> this is this is a messed up thought to have right now. The way he's talking about it, it kind of it kind of reflects on the fact that he's a great promoter. Because think about it. He's 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 been pushing wrestling from Matt, I think he's 70 something now. He's been doing this for a while. And he's WWF was his wrestling promotion. And <laughs> he's doing a hell of a job promoting 
this woman right now. Um, she once went deep in her ass. Of course, that seems to be the thing. One what? One way down her throat, and one in her. I really don't like the way he spells pussy. Like that's starting to annoy me. But all right, and you can pound her and keep on pounding her till you pop your load. She may <laughs> she may scream and try to say no. Although it would be difficult to say anything with a cock down her throat. They laughed. <laughs> I then said, listen. Oh, yeah, no matter what, just pound away till you squirt. God damn. Baby, these guys were having a blast with me. Some of them didn't believe me. So I said, you are the greatest fuck in the world. It's his, his use of capital letters, it must be his phone, like, just fucking with him. That's what my phone be doing, like. My phone be pissing me off, you know. No disrespect to you, Samsung. I love Android phone, phones or whatnot. It's not, it's not even an iPhone, Android shit for me. But it be like correcting the shit I want to type, and then I will make a typo, and it would just let the shit slide. I'm like, where, where, where was you at? With clearly, I misspelled the simple ass word. You could have figured this shit out, right? But you want to correct shit I want to write. Anywho, I digress. <laughs> Greatest fuck in the world. Uh, and no matter how much you get, you always wanted more. And then I said she loves cum. Baby, these texts, as we call them, okay, were having the time of their lives listening to my truthful story. I then said, all right, let me get to this. I then said you would take a 10-minute break between each fucking, but then you would get back on your hands and knees with your ass in the air and say, okay, I'm ready. Who's next? <laughs> LOL. I drove them wild, baby. Or I should say you drove them wild. Exclamations. Just imagine if this really happened, baby. How much comb you would have coming out of all your holes. It's, all right, is there more to this shit? All right, on February, I don't even understand. It's on February 5th, so I guess these are the time. These are all different conversations, I take it. On February 5th, 2021, McMahon sent Miss Grant to establish a schedule for when other men, including physical therapist, including physical therapist and Laurenitis. Laurenitis is in this. I forget who that is, but I heard that name before. Could have sex with Miss Grant, which Miss... Grant attempted to rebuff. Uh, so Vince goes, exactly, baby. He's not the only one. Blank called me this afternoon begging to eat you and fuck you with his nice and hard <laughs> dick. Just as a segue, it's hard as well. Um, give me another. Oh, she. This is the first time she's actually we see any message from her. Give me another week, baby, and I'll be ready. I'm feeling more like myself. It's not great, but it's getting better. Tell him soon! Exclamation mark. So they all talk like just with this weird exclamation mark shit. I already told him, baby. Um, by the way, Johnny wants Tuesdays, but not this coming one. And the occasional Saturday, but maybe I can shift it to Thursday nights. Johnny would like all of the above. <laughs> All right, that's that's it for as far as I've been able to find as far as these anyway. First of all, hilarious, but in a messed up way. What's weird about this, and I say weird, is the way that they're speaking to each other. Now, let me just say, anytime it's a situation where someone is being accused of doing something illegal or... And, or, or or victimizing you somehow. You've been assaulted by this person. They've they've done horrendous, horrible things to you. Um, but there is no there's no jail time. There's no prison. It's just about money. When money is the main factor, it then I start getting suspicious as to the validity of what really happened. That's not to say the plaintiff or I don't even want to call him the victim yet. Let's just say the plaintiff. I hope I'm using the right term. Uh, the accuser is not to say that the plaintiff hasn't endured anything 
or had anything negative or undesirable happen to them. I'm not even saying that none, any of this is false. But when it's just centered around money, I get suspicious that maybe things aren't exactly all they seem. Now, one thing that comes to mind, and I, I kind of stayed away from this video on, on, on this topic. I just stayed away from it because it was just, it was too much, but it's very similar. It's the whole Diddy and Cassie thing. I actually made a video about it, and I just thought, you know what, I'm not even going to bother editing this video or putting it out. Um, but in the Diddy and Cassie situation, what makes it a little, what makes it even more sketchy is in Cassie's case, she also outlined that Diddy did violent things, right? Um, she tried to escape. He came back to find her. He was violent. You know, there were times that they had to be recovering. She was drugged up. Now, all of those things, and, and, and not to mention that there's already rumors about Diddy, his he has people that are supposedly have been working with him or whatnot. They're saying shit that's kind of validating certain stories. And apparently the whole blowing up Kid Cudi's car, that was some real shit. So when you hear things like that, it's like, oh, Diddy did that shit. <laughs> or at least Diddy was on some wild shit. So it's even easier to believe uh, Cassie's claims, despite the fact that it is just a situation where she just, it, it, it looks like everything just centers around money. And, and she's not trying to put Diddy into prison. It still makes it weird for me. But but hers is more believable than this scenario with Vince and Miss Grant. Because nowhere in these messages does it look like that. It doesn't look like the Cassie and Diddy situation where... And I know, I think I read somewhere that this woman, General Grant, is, you know, she's... And I hate to say it this way, but the typical I felt fear and, uh, you know, he, he leveraged his power. I wanted to get ahead in the business or the company or whatever. So I went along with this and not to say that that doesn't happen to happen to people. But in this day and age with the Me Too movement and everything like this, what the only thing uh, Vince these messages make Vince clearly guilty of is having an affair, is cheating on his wife. That's all I see here. And guilty of being a freak-ass boy <laughs> because this is some freak-ass shit. Him and Diddy would have got along, it looked like. You know what I'm saying? They would be exchanging notes. At the, oh, shit, you been doing this? Let me add that to the list. No, 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 no. Um... Oh, there's some other stuff. I, I, I saw it elsewhere. I wasn't able to find it for this video, but apparently she said more things happened. And in one case, um, Vince took a, <laughs> he took a dump. He shitted on her head during a threesome or some shit. And they just continued fucking. Like he didn't allow her to clean it off or whatever. He went to the bathroom and, you know, and it's like, what? I'm just surprised at the dudes that were still fucking like, if a, if a chick fart, I don't care how bad she is. If shit gets him, maybe that's just, that's just me though. But then again, you know what? Let me not bring myself into this because I don't have these kinds of kinks. And clearly these motherfuckers is on some kinky ass shit, some freak ass shit. So I guess what's, what's a little, what's a little feces? <laughs> I was like, I gotta stop nothing. It's like, oh, just leave it. It's not those like, we, you know, we sh people shit every day, B. <laughs> um, but, you know, jokes aside, she, um, m my earlier point was when people make it all about money, it starts sounding a little bit fishy to me. Especially in this case where there's nothing really, really proving her claims apart from hearsay. What, whatever she just, she just, it's just claims that she's making. A good point that someone else brought up is we're only hearing about this. All of this came out because they've already addressed this previously, and uh, there was a settlement. It was supposed to be for three million. So I, apparently, she was supposed to receive three million dollars USD and sign like a non an NDA, non disclosure agreement. So this shit will just get buried, right? 
and Vince uh, 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 apparently paid up the one million, and then things didn't continue after that. So she's making a fuss because she didn't get she didn't get the rest of her money. Now, should she get the rest of her money? Yes. If they made a deal that she's supposed to get three million, then she's supposed to just get the three million. Vince, you tripping? You should have just gave her the three million. Womp womp womp. And this would have been behind you. Now, going back to this whole, did it really happen that way? And, and a lot of people say, well, if you made the settlement, that in a court of public opinion, that is an omission of guilt. But this is where it gets tricky because he is guilty of some things. And, and, and people who are being manipulative, now, once again, I don't want to say that this young woman is lying and she was not a victim, but we don't have any proof of it. And and the same way we can just immediately lean over to looking at her as a victim, why can't we be objective and look at the other angles or the other possibilities that this woman was on some whole shit? And she thought, like some women do on their own, if I succumb to all of this whole shit, if I, you know, women try to use sex to their advantage. A guy might come in and and he, he may have even implied things or tried things and she but there's nothing saying that she couldn't have shut it down because there's many women that work for Vince McMahon. And who knows, maybe a few maybe maybe this is a thing and others are gonna start coming out or whatever, who knows? But the point is she could have shut this down. In this day and age you can shut that shit down unless there's violence like when it's in the allegedly in the Diddy situation, the Diddy and Cassie situation. And and unless I miss something, I don't think that there was any um Vince wasn't <laughs> the 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 what the, the the evil prompt the looming evil figure that Cassie painted out Diddy to be. So what I'm saying is this what if this woman was just on some whole shit trying to leverage sex and then she got maybe in way over her head because, you know, some of these guys, when they get super powerful, they just be on some kinky shit. And, yeah, they want to flex their power. Because imagine that boost that you get knowing, I got all this money and I got all this power. Some people get drunk off the power right quick. So that's what I see here, especially when it's, listen, we all know the more powerful a man gets, the more regime that just... Is he just is just accessible? And let's not forget that people in Dubai know this, right? I don't I don't want to say people. Let me say there's a certain group of rich motherfuckers in Dubai that purposely they're rich. Money is like no object to them, and they would fly over these Instagram models or whatever people who who Westerners deem to be oh they're so hot, and they would get a kick out of degrading these women because they will degrade themselves. Because of the, the money and power that those men have, that's a that's a mind trip. And some people just just they just get high off of that. I mean, let's just be realistic about it. So, this is what I see Vince doing here. I'm rich. I'm powerful. I can make these bitches do what I want, or I can make this bitch do what I want anyway. Because some of these other bitches ain't going for that. So now, when you're on that power trip and you have this good-looking girl who who bend at your whim, you're gonna start pushing boundaries, right? And let's be and let's be real. This I'm not trying to I'm not trying to defend Vince. I'm just trying to be realistic. People will push boundaries. That's what they do. They test boundaries. And you know, where do you think the whole you give them an inch, they take a mile? Where do you think that phrase comes from? That's part of human nature, unfortunately. You just have to deal with that with people. People will allow you for the most part, people treat you how you allow them to treat you. That's why they tell bullies, like, yo, stand, not bullies, kids being bullied, stand up to the bullies. If you don't stand up to them, they just going to turn up on you. That doesn't mean you're not going to get your ass whipped. <laughs> but, hey. But, I mean, once again, I'm just, I'm just looking at all the different angles. Because the scary thing about it is, let's say me. I've been with a lot of women in my life. Now, no one has said shit. No one's accused me of nothing, right? Now, let's say I become popular. Let's see all this content shit I'm starting to do. Can I also DJ and, you know, whatever. Let's say I stop popping. What's stopping some woman from coming 
coming out of the woodworks from back in the day. Brendan did this to me when he was la 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 la. And because maybe we did some foul shit, because let me tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that I've had some salacious texts sent to women. Because you know what? Women be on some wild shit. Women be wanting be, to be choked. Let me tell you something. And and nothing never happened between me and this this girl. Nothing sexual, anyway. And but we, we remained cool. But I remember we were sitting alone in a room together in my room, <clears throat> and we were talking. I don't remember what she said, but she said something like, "You know, sometimes I just be like wanting to, you know, I'm just talking to you, and it's like I just fantasize about you. Just we'll be talking and in the mid talk, you just grab me and rape me. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> okay." Now, women do have these fantasies about some guy that they're into overpowering them and just dicking them down. I I know a few of these women. They want you to be aggressive with them, manhandle them. Yo, I was just telling you, man, let's be realistic. These are things that happen. And we've come across women. I know I've watched, I've seen certain documentaries before, especially about things about the porn industry or these sex workers. There are some women out there who have these kinks where they want to be gang banged. They want to be overpowered by it. Just, it goes deep. Is she one of them? I don't know. But she was complicit in this. It he seems complicit. Look at the way that he was speaking to each other. Hey, baby, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I ain't ready yet, baby. Cause da, da, da. The way Vince was sending these messages, it was almost like he was an excited kid. Like he got something cool and he's like sharing it back with his his partner in crime kind of like because they have their little thing going on now that's not to say maybe vince is just a psycho (laughs) and this was very one-sided and he's just created this in his mind because he's psychotic and she's just playing along out of fear fear of her life but at the same time that bit seems a little bit far-fetched because I could be wrong, but Vince just does not strike me as that much of a psychopath. He just strikes me as a powerful man who wanted to get his kinky shit off and boost his ego and flex his power and 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 see live porn. Voyeurism is a thing. People go to people watch porn to see people fucking. People go to Amsterdam in the red light district to watch people fucking live. And he had to, and it's it, he had the power to control that with this woman that he deemed he's easy when he's like it's like a trophy piece he's showing her off to his friends or we can get that it's making him feel like you know he's the guy but in this kink realm (laughs) that's all i'm saying man you know and and like like i said what's stopping someone from my past when i'm popping to just come up and like you know brendan wanted to strangle me and he i was just afraid for my life because he overpowered me and da 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 meanwhile i'm like bitch what the fuck (laughs) You wanted, you said this. That's what's crazy about it. And I guarantee you, everyone will just, the majority of the people, I'll be guilty in a court of public opinion. Just put it that way. Especially if they showed, they just sprinkled some truth into it because then they showed a salacious text message that I sent about me choking you and doing this to you and tying you up and whatever, whatever. Now I'm going to look crazy when you're the one that's into that shit. You feel me? And and I'm just trying to go along with it so I can get this vagina. <laughs> now, going back to the point I was making earlier about, you know, people, um, it being a little bit fishy when people take, you just make everything about money and not about justice, not about getting this person off the, off the street, putting them behind bars, right? Um, one would argue we're in a capitalist system. So, of course, one way for you to, you know, cope or feel better about whatever traumatizing things you went through is to hit this person in the pockets because you know they have it and you can get it and that should help your life because once again money is powerful in a capitalist system which is fine if that's if that's you you feel you know what that's what i'm gonna do and this is gonna increase the quality of my life and that's how i'm gonna cope with whatever happened that's understandable but not when they do the the type of press release stuff. So basically, during the claim and this a statement made, they always include. And remember, this is just for her own personal gain because this only popped off because she didn't get the rest of her money. 
but they always latch on. I'm doing this so other women could feel like they could come out. I'm paraphrasing. She didn't exactly say that. But something on the, along the lines of I'm doing this so other women should feel brave enough to come out and these things don't happen to them. Uh, Cassie had a similar statement. My thing is, that sounds so disingenuous to me because this whole suit is based around your own personal gain. You're only exposing this person not to shed light to a scenario because had you got your money, we would never know this about Vince McMahon. You, now you, I could see that you're trying to be manipulative, which makes me think there's more to it because you don't give a shit about anybody else. If you're so worried about this happening to other people, why don't you get one of the perpetrators, which would be Vince McMahon in this case, try your best to get him behind bars. Still take the money. You could do a lawsuit, but maybe you could do some other shit to, to, to put him behind bars, but you didn't give a shit to do all of that and do this for the, the greater good until you weren't getting the rest of the money that you needed to get. And that's, that's just what makes it all fishy for me. And I wish people would stop. It's annoying that people do the whole um, jumping on a, um, like a social cause. They exploit a social cause to to manipulate the emotions of the people around them and la 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 just to gain leverage for their own personal gain so honestly i reserve judgment to see what else happens because it's to me it's, it could be either or i think the only reason that vince was playing ball because he's clearly cheating on his wife and you know i feel for him because if this turns out that she just kind of like inflated uh these claims you know his privacy has been exposed because you are allowed to be a freak ass boy behind closed doors. You know, this is your own personal life, your own personal sexual fantasies and what, 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 what. And now we're looking at him crazy <laughs> for this shit that happens. And, you know, you have the right to keep your personal life away from the public. And she deprived him of that. If, it, it you know, this isn't all what she says it is. So we're going to see how this turn out. We're going to see.